It is January 23rd, 9 o'clock in the morning, and I got about a week and a half left before I move, so let's explore downtown Wilson one last time. So follow me, and let's see what this city's got to offer. First up, let's head over to the Wilson Donut Shop for some breakfast. This place has been a mainstay here in Wilson since the 50s, the perfect place to pick up a box on the way to work. Not only do they serve breakfast and lunch, they also make donut hole cakes. It's as awesome and artery clogging as it sounds. Got myself a few donuts and some orange juice. Sadly, we don't have a Krispy Kreme, but these local donut eateries are always just as good. Now this, this is one of the city's recent additions, the Valla Simpson Whirligig Park. For those unaware, whirligigs are wind-powered metal sculptures that have intriguing designs. Think of them as very artsy windmills. The Valla Simpson was a World War II veteran that began making whirligigs after he retired. Eventually, the art world took notice and he begun getting commissions for them. He was even contacted to build them for the Atlanta Olympics in 1996. After his death, it was decided that his whirligigs needed a permanent home. So the city began work on a park where they could all be displayed. The park is home to a stage for music festivals and movie nights with a nice open field to picnic on. Across from the park is the 217 Brew Works, a public brewery and bar. I myself don't partake in the drink, but I visit it occasionally for a few events. There's even plans to turn these nearby warehouses into luxury apartments. So things are really looking up for this place. Up next is the Leader Building. It may look like an abandoned building, because it is. It also holds every prop, costume, and set piece from every local theater production for as long as I've been here. The more impressive props are shown here in the front window. We got all Audrey 2 here from Little Shop of Horrors. And we got the Wizard of Oz on the other side, along with a mural for Schoolhouse Rock 2, and this really neat private detective set piece from... something. Speaking of, here's the Arts Council of Wilson's... building that's been undergoing maintenance since last summer. Now the Arts Council is responsible for everything related to the arts in this town, from installations to theater productions. This is usually where we rehearse and hold auditions for shows. It also functions as a normal art museum. And here is where said shows happen, the Edna Boykin Cultural Center. Originally a movie theater, this is where you go to see stage productions, music concerts, the occasional screening of Rocky Horror, and even some stand-up comedians. There was even a short period of time in the 70s where the place was a triple X theater. I'm not kidding, you could walk up to the box office and say, one ticket for Fritz the Cat, please, and mean it. Eventually, a woman named Edna Boykin purchased the building and made it into what it is today. And we all thank her for it. Alright, this isn't a place I've visited often, but I had to include it. This is Dance Studio B, one of the many dance studios here in town. This one in particular is responsible for most of the musicals we perform, with the owner, Miss Trish as we call her, as the choreographer. I worked with her for our production of 9 to 5. Now we've got a real special place that I hold near and dear to my heart. This is the Imagination Station Science Museum. This place is the main reason my family moved to Wilson in the first place. Back in 1999, my dad was offered a job here, and he held that job for a good four to five years. The place has a bunch of interactive exhibits, ranging from optical illusions, physical activities, and puzzles. The second floor has a large amount of reptiles, from turtles to snakes. I got a chance to care for them while volunteering, and it was a blast feeding them. Probably the most notable incident regarding the museum was a fire that broke out in early 2000. None of the animals survived, sadly, so while the museum was locating a temporary home, we got to house a few of the animals, including a few leopard geckos that we got to name. This isn't really a location, but I at least wanted to point this out. 
The Eyes on Main Street event is an art installation that spanned across all of downtown. Various photographs from all over the world were showcased on the sides of buildings, ranging from landscapes to candid moments. It's like the longest hallway of an art museum, and it was awesome. This is the courthouse. Never been inside it, so I don't have much to say. Here we have the Wilson County Public Library's lawn. I kid, I kid. But the lawn here was where we used to hold music festivals prior to the Whirligig Park's opening. The library itself, I'll admit, I haven't frequented since I was in school. I do remember spending half an hour each weekday playing Magic School Bus games on the computer, reading various books, and doing homework. Didn't check out much, but I did. While taking a break from walking, I took this shot of the tallest building in town, the BB&T building. It's a regional bank, for those that don't know. And for some reason, the lighting makes this look rather... heavenly. Hmm, the clock by the City of Wilson Customer Service Building says it's time for lunch. Wonder if I can issue a complaint about my hunger. Aha! Bill's Grill. The best place for the businessman to get lunch without going on a McDonald's run. Burgers, chicken, sandwiches, soup, and salads are just a few things you can get here. I went for my usual order of a cheeseburger and fries. Mmm, I just spilled mustard on my jacket. One last stop before I head home, it's Kruger's Candies. Kruger's is a candy store that makes old-fashioned taffy, caramels, mints, and fudge. Recently, the place scored a deal with a confectionery company to manufacture and package cheese-flavored caramel nationwide. Yes, cheese-flavored. I am not making this up. These are real. Managed to procure a free sample. They taste... interesting. If you're feeling adventurous and see them out and about, I suggest giving it a try. This concludes my little excursion. It's not often I get to go on these, so I at least wanted to document my last time doing so. I'm gonna miss this place, but I do plan on visiting as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.